This is our last list of your dear brother, Helen Squala. Rest in peace, my brother. Uh, 
kupiga mipango siko waje nasema pole kwa familia ya rafiki yangu Collins Kwala uh, actually we are related somehow with Collins yeah he's a cousin to my wife so we are related uh, my deep condolences to the entire family na tutasimama na nyinyi mimi mwenyewe kama prince inda tutasimama na nyinyi ile mpangilio iko uh, on thursday next week we have a fundraising at uh, benelix launch and uh, we are planning to to do a very big fundraising and uh, we are hoping it will be successful for to at least support the family yeah that's the and give uh, give my friend a befitting send off mungu amweke malipema peponi collins uh, collins aliaga dunia akikuja kuni kuniona mimi we talked with him uh, a day before and uh, we were to meet unfortunately mungu akamchukua before ni muone eh wanasema ya mungu ni mengi uh, i don't have much to say about this but uh, my sincere condolences to the family yeah now who, who was kono kwala to you because we understand wengine wanasema tu ni fan wengine wanasema maybe ni mtu ambaye alikuwa anakufanya video hebu tuambie who was the how, how was the closeness kono kwala is is not just a fan is a family i told you i've just tell you that uh, we, we we are related Yeah so he was very close to me he knows my family actually he's related to to my wife yeah he knows my family we are very close he knows my home yeah alikuwa anakuja nyumbani anytime yeah so uh, he's a very close person to me and malaika was like a family to him and we are going to stand with him we are going to stand with the family yeah na uh, we understand pole sana maybe uh, we understand uko na show kisumu pale uh, maybe mambo leo show grounds hebu tuambie maybe nini kilikufanya ukaamua wacha nifungue hii edition sababu tunaelewa haitakuwa ile ile hivi hivi tu itakuwa kubwa sana uh, th- this show is like a, an eye opener to fellow artist uh, and uh, I would like uh, this event this particular event of 16th may it be a history this is a history in waiting and uh, umeniuliza ni nini ilinifanya niweke hafla kama hii I thought of uh, how can I uplift those young artists wenye bado hawajulikana hawajulikani wenye hawajulikani popote and uh, uh, Prince Inda uh, in partnership with the Royal Media to be specific Ramogi Radio we decided to to select few artists uh, from Nyanza and of course we are going to give them uh, the platform uh, to to sell their work so that they they can also be be known yeah <laughs> i don't i don't like i don't how much have you invested in that show 
I don't like mentioning figures because you know some 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 of these things uh, we don't do them because we can, but we do them because we are willing to do them. Uh, some of these things are callings. Yeah, yeah. So I won't mention uh, any a, any figure. No, you don't do that. You don't do that. say that people say no 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 that's not true but I did I did a collaboration with uh, I, I'm not saying uh, Awiko is a small artist no but I did a collaboration with Awiko I've done a collaboration with Mr. Seed with so many artists and I don't choose so long as your work is good eh, so long as so long as you are your work makes sense. Uh, of course, you have to make sense. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe another question, like you know, you are you are mostly the only person I'm talking I can mix na secular na songs in the hit. Me. Not, not really secular. Mostly. Mainstream. Mainstream. Not secular. Almost yeah. we are doing. Oh, yeah, mainstream. All of these genres. <laughs> all of these genres. Yeah, also. mainstream na the yeah. hit. Uh, how are you gonna help your fellow Angla artists Wafuke Border so that we have a mix of Angla and mainstream music? Uh, the best way to do it, I think they should learn from that. Yeah, they should just learn from that. Yeah. I have a question. To me, when I play, I want to sana sana sikala kids. Sidi kama ume ni watoto ambao wanajituma sana wanacheza pale live zako wana promote kazi yako pale hebu tuambie how how because niliona watu wengine wanasema prince inda hata tulipie tu school fees au watoto warudi shule hebu tuambie how how are you going to give back to those kids? I'm, I'm really planning something good uh, for these kids but I, I wouldn't like it to be to be something that uh, maybe it will be on air Maybe it will be known. I'm not such. Uh, I'm not that kind of a person. Yeah, but I'm really planning something good, and uh, I'm hoping and praying that uh, my plans will go through. I'll do something good to the kids. Yeah, something they they might be able to remember. Maybe for the rest of their lives. I'm really planning something good. I don't want to do something for the sake of social media. I'm not that kind of a person. Yeah. yeah. Prince Inda, we all know that uh, you are close to the Bahatis. Uh, they said they, had, they have an upcoming wedding this December. Maybe are you invited? And apart from that, you know, Pastor Ezekiel Alingililia, Bibi Arafikiyako saying that people should not marry these people called Diana simply because they are demonic in such a way. What's your take on this too? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, not after kick. <laughs> no, I won't comment on that. Yeah, honestly, I don't have anything to say about that. Yeah. Maybe you advise an upcoming. We know when someone is starting, they struggle really hard to be maybe yourself. Or maybe you advise a young artist out there and also talk to your fans as we close. That advice I can give young artists. Upcoming. They should work hard, and uh, nothing, nothing in this world, uh, nothing good goes unrewarded. Yeah, every hard work is rewarded mm. in every way. Yeah. Okay. So they should keep on working hard, and. The key word is humility. Na, yeah. Tukiangalia, okay, oh, wo meko kifanya kazi sana. Maybe you can tell us who is this one person. Tunajua ni wengi sana. You will like to appreciate. Alafu in your life, for the progress of your life. Eh? Alafu swa lingine ni wo wo meko amtu ambao na fanya kazi na watu wakaribu sana. Ebo tuambie, Prince Inda kama brand. Tuambie, uh, like. Na, 
I think you should be asking one question at a time. Yeah, because you you asked them. Uh, you you said uh, one person that I I should always appreciate. I'll appreciate so many people, millions of my fans who are supporting my work. Continue with that spirit. I won't disappoint you. And of course, uh, I'm going to appreciate my family for always supporting me. <laughs> Why are you asking? You know, a man becomes vulnerable when the family is exposed. Yeah. Maybe Prince Linda, to Anasana, you're very close with Bahati. You did a very nice collab. But let Kidogo Pua complain that they are the Ambo Vixen and Awakulipa. Then you said you'll pay them. Maybe did you pay them? And apart from that, you know, not on Alia Sana Bahati, a Rudy Gospel. When we come up, Prince Linda, I'm a father, thank you. I will you advise him on the cell. Hey, what do you want me to answer first? <laughs> no, uh, I won't comment on that. Why? I think they had their agreement, and uh, if if I'm saying this again, if she thinks that uh, Bahati didn't pay her, and they had an agreement. Uh, she should just come out clean. And I don't like, I said, I, I don't like cloud chasing. I'm not that kind of a person. I'm just speaking as an individual, as any other person. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, question, what was, that is his decision. Uh, I don't know how many people have advised him. <laughs> I think that uh, I can just talk to him as a friend. Uh, but uh, he knows what he is getting in secular. I wouldn't advise him to go back to, to gospel, yet I'm in secular. Yeah. Maybe I have a last question. Your songs have been accepted in the society, but most of the time we are left with audio, so you want your videos on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm working on that. I'm, I'm really working on that, and uh, uh, there's really... Uh, a pile of work coming. Uh, I've been working behind the curtains and uh, some good things are coming. So thank you so much, Prince. But, but before, uh, kuna swali na sahau sana, uh, very important question. Okay, eh? Uliza. Uh, kuna, I, inasemekana wasani, useme, most ilisema wasani wa Ohangla. Inasemekana kuwa kuna vile wanafanya tu mwembe huku inze, like they are living a lavish life without even investing in their, in their homes. Mm. What can you say about this? You know, now, this, uh, these are, uh, this is a personal decision and uh, you know truth be told Kenyan industry sai ndio ina sai ndio kidogo inalipa si kama kitambo so we cannot even we can we can at least we are blame sana wale wasania wa kufanya nini eh lakini it's also a personal decision you know some of these things, where they blame Mutu, it is Sasa Ujafanya, you should be doing this, you should be doing this. No, it's not good. Uh, and I think, Kila Mutu wakona maisha hake, na Kila Mutu wanafaa kujipanga. So, Kila Mutu wanafaa kuona, uh, Mimi, mwenyewe, Mali Niko, venye nilianza kuzungumza. When I was beginning this interview, I said, I'm working so hard so that in the coming days I wouldn't want to, to work very hard the way I'm, I'm working. Uh, I would relax, uh, take care of my kids, of my family, and eat my money. Exactly. Yeah. I, I wouldn't want to work so hard maybe in my 50s or 60s. That's why I'm working so hard right now, and I'm planning myself. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard of her. Maybe what's your take? Because I'm gonna like she's the next duo thinking. 
I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's what she thinks.